Hopefully this works. Hello again. Right, I wanted to show everybody the view as you come up the hill here. Let's try and show you. Good morning. I think it's still morning. I'm pretty sure it's 10 o'clock last time I checked. So <laughs> there's quite funny people get my tripod. And yeah, hopefully nobody sees because that'd be a bit awkward, won't it? But here we go, just coming up. In the sun, well, oh, ish sun. Hopefully this is recording, be nice, wouldn't it? Hopefully it's focused too. I got like the continuous tracking thing. It's on my face, but here you go. The view. Right, it abruptly cut out then. How annoying. Right, let me finish it off. So, frame head, oh, wrong way. Come on, there. That's a path to like frame head. And then, Plymouth's just behind me here. It's not very straight, is it? Great recording. Let's walk down a bit. I'll take you on top of the grotto, as they call it. I did check that, I got it right. Getting a bit windy now. I need like a monopod or something just to help a bit. But yeah, here's the view from there. Try and straighten it, there you go, perfect. From the 360. <laughs> Frame head, go on, fast oh, no. there, perfect. And yeah, I'm gonna walk down no, wrong way again. There. And then I'm gonna go, we'll go on, there this time. There you go. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. It's always steep here. It must be where like the rain flows down into. It's all broken. What do you call it? Slate, I guess. Yeah. That way. Here we are. It's not a bad angle, that actually. You just want to get it like, we're talking photo wise, here with the pool, this rock and rain was nice. So, I'm actually set up here quickly and take a few shots. I've got the chance to go down here as well, now the tide's going out. And yeah, I might put the ND footer on, get some slow, ex slow exposures, I guess. I'm going to take a few shots here from where I started on the first on the video and then I'm going to take a quick walk around just to see what compositions I can get. I'm sure there's quite a few. And yeah, I'll take you along. I try and record a bit more camera stuff, what I'm doing. And then I've actually got a new app that I got last night to show you, which is like, it can tell you where the sun sets and sunrise is like the exact location. So you can plan ahead, which is always nice. And yeah, I'll talk about ND filters and just to, well, what I think about them and what ones to get. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get to it. So this is a composition now. I've got the pool, the waves coming in here, the rock, and I've just got rain head in it, which is what I think I'd go for actually. I mean, there's a bit of rock here. I don't know if I'll try and just like do it like that. So I might just get away with it, maybe there. I'll try that. Right, let's get that ND foot on. See, these rocks are pretty sharp. It's still not recording. Oh, it is recording, fantastic. Sorry about that. Right, I've probably put a cut out anyway. So this is like the ND filter slides that you can get from Kokin. They're being fantastic, They're, they are good. It's always tough to get off, which is good. Safe. So that lens good? Yep, right. Screw it on, shall we? Get in there. Good. Right. Let's take some photos. Good. Right. Photography. Let's go. So, 
like golf and we're gonna have to push the ISO quite high up. And there's kind of a stigma around pushing your ISO up, but it seems to me like if it's got to be done, you do it. But to me, it's not really a problem, but I'd like to keep it down as much as possible. And if I'll be honest, <laughs> I don't really like know the in-depth about ISO, but I've just, of course, always known and watched uh, other people who say it just to keep it down. So I guess I do that. But if you ask me, I don't see it as a problem. It's still on video mode. It's me talking. Right, manual. I always shoot manual. I'm shooting raw. I used to always shoot like LN, LF, LSF. What else is there? LS maybe. But it's all raw nowadays, especially with landscape photography. You want to get like just the raw data to process. That's a 15 for a second there. F11. I'll give that a go, shall we? Fantastic. But yeah. I've always like I'm not I'm okay with pushing ISO but sometimes it's a case of not pushing it too much. But yeah, I don't really see the problem in doing it. It's like if you want to take the photo then take the photo. It's a bit bright. Um I'm actually gonna change it. On Olympus it's a fantastic live comp. It takes a photo like every 0.5 seconds or second, two seconds, whatever you like, really. And yeah, I'm just gonna give that a go. But as you can see here, I'm having to push the ISO to at least 500. F8, 500. About F8, 400. I get away with that, I reckon. But yeah, let's give that a go. Just to see what. See, it's bright again. How strange. It might be the lens playing up, because. It was acting strange on Friday when I last filmed the last vlog, which hopefully you've seen. I'm just playing up. It's just like, I was 40 millimeter was fine, all good. As soon as I pushed like past 80 millimeter, it was just like the exposure was going so bright for no reason. So maybe it's that. Give that a go. It's gonna read. There we go, right. Let's try this again. There we go. So yeah, just taking a photo like every, it is 0.5. So yeah, I might just see what I can get. It's very dreary at the moment. And if you ask me, I think the best thing to do in skies like this, I mean, you're more than welcome to just take usual pictures. But I think if you're gonna get some nice ones, then just slow everything down and just get the monochrome, like black and white look which I always think is nice. And yeah, I'll just take a few here and maybe move one up in a minute, so yeah. Live comp, F8, let me just do the composite. And then, so hopefully you can see what it's doing. So you just see me, <laughs> maybe that'll work. Maybe, maybe even that, that'd be nice. But yeah, just gives you the, what's the word? What it looks like, should I say. In case we're thinking about getting Olympus, just for this mode, I think it's fantastic. It's, even for lightning shots, not that we get many here in Plymouth, but, oh, cool, I guess we are at the moment. I am from Plymouth, that's why I said that. But it's fantastic, it really is. Especially with the clouds, it's, really good but yeah i might even push it slightly i i like to shoot if we're talking aspect ratio at 16 to 9. just it gives you like a nice basic composition in case you want to crop it down but yeah let me just try uh, exposure Maybe that, 10 seconds. I'll give it 13. Here we go. How's that? Hopefully you can see. And it pops up on the screen. Oh, that's nice, that is. Look at that. Yeah. 
it's just nice. <laughs> just nice. But yeah, I'm just taking a few like that, I think. And see you in a minute. Where's the off record button? <laughs> Let's show you. Give it a few seconds. 13. Got a few ships out here HMS Albion, RFA Mount Bay, and RFA Argus. Just strolling around. <laughs> oh, there we go. Missed it. What was that like? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Just like a. Yeah. It's nice and flat, I guess. Take another one. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, settings wise, we've got. 13th of a second, F11, shooting at manual, so it does like the, I'm not really sure that's cool, I guess it's like the exposure composite, is it maybe? I'm not really sure, it does that automatically, you can see it changing there. And yeah, ISO low, raw, 16 to 9 aspect ratio, white balance, that's something I'd like to talk about. So, I personally like shooting with a custom white balance because I like to get all my photos as natural as possible and so yeah I just shoot with custom white balance but in case it doesn't look like it did on scene then I just change it in post on Lightroom and that always works but yeah that's definitely another conversation I'll have in the future about that I reckon and yeah it's nice here of course I said if you videos ago that I've not been this way but I'm here now which is always good and yeah I reckon I got some really nice photos on the um, last time I was here the last one too and yeah I'll either post them as I'm talking right now or I'll post them at the end I try and like put some words uh, when it was and everything but if not you would have just seen them so I hope you liked them and if not, I hope you'll like them. Hopefully this is recorded too. <laughs> if not, I'll have to put like some subtitles or something. Which I've probably had to do in a few videos maybe. But yeah. It's the set that I've got. I'm happy with at the moment. And I look forward to investing more money and time in the future. Hopefully getting the best quality I can get for you guys. There you go. Another, another nice one. This screw is really... There we go. See, this bracket isn't supposed to be, like, on this tripod head because it's such an old tripod head and it's such a new bracket. Like, the company, three-legged thing. It's a fantastic tripod. It's a really good tripod. I got it off eBay for, like, 60 quid, which was a steal, if you ask me. And it's, it's fantastic. It really is. But yeah, right, let's try and get a decent composition. Try and record it for you, so you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully it's still recording over there, actually. So, here, pull, there, and I'm just getting it. Oh, it's a bit different, actually, on the camera, but it's about there. It's decent. I tell you what, the lock button on like the um, where you can like change your settings, no modes, like manual aperture, shutter, priority, it's fantastic on the Olympuses. I spun it the wrong way, that doesn't help. <laughs> there we go, right. How's that? Decent. Give that a crack. Nice. Best thing if it's still recording. <laughs> me again back in this way let's go and take a walk so this is where i was just taking some it's really hard to get it straight there we go just taking some down go on there it will be in focus i don't think so i have to take my apologies for that just gonna whoa see it's not really very tight is it it's like my old recording tripod so yeah just taking a little walk Past the pool, which is taking some photos in, not in, of. I might try and get some like of the, go on, leading lines down here, and then 
<laughs> that way. Go on, I can't get it straight. Go on. Let's go. Up. Go on. There. And so I might just try and get some there. I might even go down here a bit soon. Go on. That's good enough. <laughs> and yeah. So good, so, so good so far. So far, so good. There you go. <laughs> Two seconds. Let it go. Nice here. Yeah? I love like the, do it that way. The line's just leading you in. There you go. Try and get a... Oh, yeah. I'll just have to show you later. <laughs> Actually, no. Let me just give me a few seconds. Probably the best I can get you. Just... No! <laughs> like so. Got like the water coming in the gully here. And yeah, I'm sure you'll see the final image. I might even post it here. Maybe even here. But yeah. Or I'll just leave it to the end. I'm not sure. But you'll see it. <laughs> Back again. Just gonna show you what I'm seeing. So, we've got a gully coming in here. And then as I'm doing the long exposure... You said it wrong then. As I'm doing the long exposure, it's getting like the white creamy effect there and then we're just shooting like just through like the gap almost on go on there it's like frames it almost or frame heads going along here which is nice and yeah the sun is just starting to briefly come out i guess and yeah it's not rained yet which is even better but yeah get some more Make sure where I'm sat is okay. I'm gonna move in after this one, I think. So where we end up, shall we? <laughs> Back again. So. Thank God that's hopefully enclosed because it's just dropped in a pool. I think we may be able to see. Or you just. That's the only rest we're working by the coast is the water. Hopefully it's rainwater, would be nice. And that's what we've got. So hopefully you see it. Maybe not. But if not, I'll take a close up in a minute. But yeah, nice here. Just missed a great wave. <laughs> Whilst I was setting the, that one up. But no problem. And yeah. It's nice. Not too hot. Not too... That's a gannet there. Ah. That would be some good pictures there. I'd wait, but... You know what happened last time when I waited? It didn't come back. So, maybe if i got time at the end, I'll try and get some. But yeah. Getting distracted, you see. <laughs> Back to the photography. That rhymes, I think. Oh, and I didn't know it. So hopefully you can see that. Got the general composition. Rain head. Got to focus it. Like so. 10 seconds, F11. And yeah, right, let's get to it. Two seconds. Timer. Anti-shock, I think's on two. Just give it a second. For a few seconds. That gun, it's gone now. Good to see. <laughs> there we go. Nice. It's got like the rim head, and like you just got a general, like creamy look. It's nice. Good stuff. Hello again. Hopefully, you just heard that. Actually, let me just get it out. There we go, got my lens wipe tissue thing. Actually, yeah, look at that. Is it on? Yeah. ND filters, let's talk about them. The ones that I have are these. I think I've only got one in here. Or is there one in there? 
<laughs> it might be just this one. So this is the like coke in slides, which you might have seen me put on. If not, I'll show you. Go ahead and fly away. Like that. If I put it there, you can actually see it decently. And yeah, that's the Grad 8, which I used this morning whilst I was in Core Sand. So yeah, I think that's, these filters are fantastic. If you're just looking to get a bit of extra flow with the pictures or just a bit of slow shutter speed and not too bad a light, but not too harsh, they're fantastic. Or if you just want to get a few extra minutes before like sunset, you want to get some slow shutters or stuff like that. I had a, I've got a four. I don't really use a four. I don't really know what to use it for, to be honest, but yeah, I've never used that. Then, of course, I've got the the big one, the big ND1000, which I bought off eBay. I'll put the link in the description, maybe. It's a funny company. I just took the hit and bought one. To see what it's like, because I wanted one to do what I've just done. And talking of what I've just done, I've left. I've just come up a bit. I just started to get a bit bleak, I guess, and I was happy with the photos I got. And I made the video, which is fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And yeah, let's talk about this ND filter. It's fantastic, if you ask me. Bit of a scrape, maybe, there. Might have to keep an eye on that. No problem, it's only £8. But yeah, cheap photos off eBay. It's a bit of a hit and miss, really. But this one was it's actually quite good. But it's definitely the case of how good you are in like post-process. Because for me personally, what I've had to do with recent photos with it is the tints had to go up to get like the horrible like green, grey cast on it. And a bit of temperature, a bit of minus blue, greens, and stuff like that. So as long as you a decent with that, then it's all good. But yeah, this was fantastic. And I definitely recommend buying one because it just pushes your photography to a bit of a next level, really, with the things you're able to do, which is fantastic. But yeah, that's just my brief talk on ND filters and what they're like. I definitely think they're worth buying. I've never had like any of the uh, soft grad or ones that go from dark to light. I've never really needed one, I guess. But yeah, if I've got more space on the camera, I'll talk about the new app I've got. If not, I'll probably end up talking about it in the uh, next video. So yeah, I reckon I will though. So see you in a minute. Hello guys, you um, you join me from the future. You are. Uh probably expecting a app review but that's not going to happen until the next video or should I probably that way better <laughs> so yeah um, I recorded two clips and they didn't record the audio which was fantastic as per usual so I didn't get to do the goodbye thank you and everything like that so I'm going to do that now from the future in October and that video was filmed in End of August. How crazy is that? Mars from the future. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video about the ND footers. It probably may have helped, might not have. Hopefully it has somewhat be decent. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking or subscribing if you do. Recently, everything has been going really well. And the views have been going up. The subscribers have been going up. Which is really good. Makes me happy. And hopefully it makes you happy because you're watching some good content. <laughs> and yeah, um, next video is going to be, I'll leave that later. The next video will be, I walk from Corsan to Rame in a, to do the sunrise. And then I walk to Penley to do some seascape photos as per usual. The sun's gone, it's annoying, it's gone dark. <laughs> but yeah, actually it's a good time. I've got a new bag, a new camera bag. It's a nice one. A bit expensive, but it's it's good. I'm gonna try and pick flight it as I lift it up. Here we go. Is it pixelated? Hopefully it is. 
If not, you probably won't see this clip, or I'll put something over it. But yeah, it's, it's nice. And that'll be in the, not the next video, the video after that, which is already a funny video, like the one that's going to be after this one. That's pretty funny. It's a good video, so I recommend watching it. Um, but yeah, then the one after that one, where I go up to Dartmoor, and yeah, it's, it was a shambles, but it's funny shambles. And yeah, that's why I think I'm going to do the bag reveal, which you'll see probably from the opening scenes. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for, well, just anything, everything, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, would have been nice to do this in the sun, but the clouds gone over again. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the next few videos. Thumbs up.